Cassandra Ventura and her ex-boyfriend, music producing legend Sean P. Diddy Combs, have settled their groundbreaking lawsuit that accused the latter of rape and sexual abuse a mere day after it was filed, it has been revealed. Ventura, who is known monotonously as Cassie, filed a civil suit against the famous producer claiming that he raped her and perpetually abused her for years. It was filed in the Federal District Court in Manhattan. Diddy has since vehemently denied the allegations. Court documents obtained by the Mirror reveal that Cassie experienced abuse when she was just 19 at the hands of the producer behind Bad Boy Records. She had signed to that label at that age in 2005, when he was 37, and he lured, her, into an ostentatious, fast-paced and drug-fueled lifestyle that eventually turned into a romantic relationship. Read more, Diddy ran out of his apartment with a firearm in pursuit of a rival industry executive attorney Douglas Wigder, who represents Cassie, announced the settlement on Friday, stating that the couple had reached a deal that's to both of their mutual satisfaction, but he did not disclose any of the terms. Cassie later released a statement of her own, saying the deal was amicably achieved, thanking her lawyers and family and fans. Combs used the same language and added that he wishes Cassie and her family all the best. Cassie, who is now 37, alleged that Diddy, now 54, was prone to uncontrollable rage and subjected her to numerous savage beatings where he punched, kicked and stomped on her, forcing her to take drugs and have sex with other men as he watched and masturbated. In 2018, Cassie attempted to end the relationship, and that's when he allegedly raped her after forcing her into his Los Angeles home. The complaint reads, when she believed that she had finally separated from her longtime abuser, she joined Mr. Combs for a dinner, after which he forced her into her home and raped her while she repeatedly said no and tried to push him away. The court filing from Thursday alleges that there was a power imbalance between the couple as well since Diddy was her boss and was over two decades her senior. And, she considered him one of the most powerful men in the entertainment industry. In a statement to the New York Times, Cassie said, After years of silence and darkness, I am finally ready to tell my story and to speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships. Ben Braffman, Diddy's lawyer, said in a statement on Thursday that Mr. Combs vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations. He added, for the past six months, Mr. Combs has been subjected to Ms. Ventura's persistent demand of $30 million, under the threat of writing a damaging book about their relationship, which was unequivocally rejected as blatant blackmail. Despite withdrawing her initial threat, Ms. Ventura has now resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies, aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs's reputation and seeking a payday. Wigder claimed that Cassie was offered the eight figures but declined them and rejected Diddy's efforts to silence her and prevent her from taking legal action. Her filing sought unspecified damages incurred from their relationship and also compensatory damages including consequential damages, lost wages, earning and all other sums of money, together with interest on these amounts, according to proof. She also sought compensation for mental pain and anguish. There were also rumors that Diddy blew up a man's car after he learned that he was romantically interested in M's. Ventura and that he ran out of his apartment with a firearm in pursuit of a rival industry executive whom he learned was nearby. Cassie claimed there were witnesses, which included Diddy's staff members, but they had all been too afraid to speak out, fearing their frightening and ferocious boss. 
The Mirror contacted Diddy and his team for comment. The Mirror also wouldn't normally ID the victim of an alleged sexual assault, but Cassie has spoken out publicly.